This is a review for the Echovax X1 Omni. This is a premium robot vacuum with premium features. It features automatic dustbin emptying, automatic mop cleaning and drying, and small obstacle detection and avoidance. In this review, we'll look at how well it actually implements these features, how well they actually work. We'll also look at how well it vacuums and navigates in general. We start with its performance in our airflow and suction tests. The X1's airflow was measured at 23 CFM. Its suction was measured at 1.63 kPa. These are well above average results for a robot vacuum. In our carpet stress test, the X1 picked up all debris types well. This robot has a fairly standard 6.5 inch wide brush roll with bristles and rubber flaps that help agitate carpet to loosen and pick up debris. It adds two side brushes, one on each side, to help pull debris into the path of its brush roll. Just like most other robot vacuums we've tested, it also used repeated movement over the same areas to properly pick up debris in this test over time. In our carpet deep clean test on default power, the X1 picked up 8 grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. On maximum power, it picked up 10 grams of debris. These are, once again, above average results for a robot vacuum. The X1 struggled a bit in our hard floor stress test. More specifically, it seemed to struggle a bit properly picking up the larger debris used for this test. Look at how it leaves behind several Cheerios after turning away from this edge. When we ran it for a second cleaning cycle to pick up leftover debris, the robot kept bouncing against the bottom edge of the test station. This was more of a pathing issue than a pickup issue, but we did want to note it here while talking about the robot's performance in our hard floor stress test. In a second trial, we again saw the robot struggling to pick up larger debris, even with repeated movement over the same areas. Note how there's mostly Cheerios and oats left over after this first cleaning cycle. When we ran the robot for a second cleaning cycle, we again saw the same pathing issue we saw in the first trial, of the robot repeatedly bouncing against the bottom edge of the test station. Over time, the X1 does perform well cleaning edges. It gets sufficiently close to the edge when moving close and parallel to it to pick up edge debris without issue. In our robot vacuum crevice test, the X1 did not perform very well on default power. It performed much better on maximum power, pulling most of the debris out of the crevice after 20 passes. Its default power result is fairly average, while its maximum power result is above average for a robot vacuum. In our human hair pickup test, the X1 picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 80% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and around one of its side brushes and had to be cleaned off manually. The X1 also struggled a bit in our pet hair pickup test. In this first trial, we left its obstacle recognition and avoidance feature on. With it on, the robot pathed around erratically mistakenly identifying several tufts of hair as obstacles it needed to avoid. Even when it did path over them, the robot pushed around certain tufts without properly picking them up. It left behind several tufts after completing its cleaning cycle. In the second trial, we turned obstacle recognition and avoidance off. With the setting turned off, the robot properly pathed in straight lines to run right over most tufts of hair. But it still didn't pick up many of them on its first pass over them and it's still left behind one tuft after completing its cleaning cycle. Moving on to mopping functionality, we first need to talk about the X1 Omni's docking station. The dock automatically fills and refills the robot's onboard reservoir with water. It also automatically rinses clean the robot's mopping pads and dries them. Some user maintenance is still required. You still have to refill the large clean water tank and empty the large dirty water tank that fit into the dock. The manufacturer also recommends that you clean the mop cleaning sink with an included cleaning brush once every two weeks. Overall though, the Omni docking station greatly reduces the work you have to do to mop. Most other mopping robots require you to do some amount of work every time you mop. Except for occasional user maintenance, you don't have to do any work to mop daily with the X1 Omni. Moving on to mopping performance, the X1 has two mopping pads that rotate in a circular motion as the robot moves across the floor. Most other mopping robots have a static mopping pad that they simply drag across the floor. In our dried on stain test, the X1 cleaned the entire test surface in one short cleaning cycle. 
This was a good result, but not really a better result than that of other top performing mopping robots we tested that only have a static mopping pad. Even robots like the Roborock Q7 also cleaned the entire test surface in one short cleaning cycle. In our sticky stain test, it took two cleaning cycles for the X1 to properly clean all three stains made for this test. In this test, the X1 actually left behind more residue after its first cleaning cycle than top rated competitors with a static pad. Here we'll use the Roborock Q7 Max as a counterexample. It left behind no residue after one cleaning cycle. Though we can mostly attribute this difference in performance to differences in pathing. During its cleaning cycle, the X1 simply pathed across the stains with less frequency. The Q7 Max pathed across the stains with more frequency, which gave it a better result. Once the X1 pathed over the stains the same number of times, we could see that it cleaned them just as well. Moving on to navigation, we tested the X1's general cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. Let's start with our empty room testing. In this first trial, in which the robot first maps the room, it veers slightly away from this edge near the start of the run. The robot seems to detect the clamp holding down the edge of the test area as an obstacle, so it veers away from it. Later on, in the same cleaning cycle, it does cover this part of the test area without issue. Back to the start of the run, the robot does move back and forth quite inefficiently here, to the left of the cleaning dock, but eventually continues on with the run without issue. We can excuse this behavior somewhat since this is a mapping run in which the robot first maps the room. Otherwise, the X1 does get good redundant coverage across the whole room. In the second trial, the robot again veers away from the clamp at the start of the run, but again eventually goes over this area without issue. This time, there's no inefficient pathing in the bottom left of the room. Again, we see good redundant coverage across the whole room. In our clutter room testing, we can see how well the robot navigates around larger obstacles. Here, the X1 using its top-mounted laser in combination with its front-facing camera does quite well. It doesn't always pad as efficiently as possible, but we don't see any major issues, and the robot gets good redundant coverage across the whole room. For a later trial, we turned obstacle detection and avoidance off, forcing the robot to only use its top-mounted laser to navigate. Doing so causes the X1 to navigate quite poorly, constantly bouncing very inefficiently against almost everything in the room. We definitely do not recommend you run this robot with obstacle detection and avoidance turned off. Next, we tested the actual feature itself, obstacle detection and avoidance. We placed five different small obstacles in the room to see how well this feature works on the X1. This first trial starts off well enough with the robot appearing to recognize most of the obstacles in the room, but it eventually pushes around the shoe, this pet waste prop, and the power cord. Later on, it again bumps this pet waste prop and pushes against the shoe. It again pushes around the power cord, and one of its side brushes makes contact with the sock. In a second trial, the robot isn't able to avoid the pet waste prop in the bottom right of the room, it runs right over it and gets stuck on it. In a third trial, the robot does the same and eventually pushes around all of the other obstacles in the room as well. There is a chance the X1's obstacle detection and avoidance improves after future firmware updates, though we don't really expect it to. We tested this robot several months after release, giving the manufacturer ample time to fix these issues. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Echovax companion app, you can set the robot to clean specific parts of the generated map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. You can also label different parts of the map, though you have to choose from a list of labels. You can't put any custom labels on the map. This is a unique limitation that we've really only seen with Echovax mapping robots. In the same chart, also note the X1's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the X1 one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. 
Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. By far the biggest positive for the X1 Omni is its automatic features, including automatic bin emptying, mop cleaning, and mop drying. Something I haven't yet mentioned in this review, but another big positive for the X1 is its built-in voice assistant, Yiko. You can talk directly to the robot to tell it to clean or return to its dock, for example. With competitors, you have to use a smart device, like an Amazon Echo, in order to use your voice to tell the robot what to do. The X1 also has excellent airflow and suction. It deep cleans carpet and mops very well for a robot vacuum. It also runs more quietly on default and maximum power than most competitors. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, the X1 has a surprisingly difficult time picking up larger debris, according to our hard floor testing. It also tangles very easily with longer hair, and has trouble picking up tufts of shorter hair. The biggest negative for the X1, though, is its poor obstacle detection and avoidance. It wasn't able to detect and avoid any of the small obstacles we use for obstacle testing with any type of consistency. This result was especially disappointing because of the robot's high price point. In terms of general recommendations, the X1 Omni is definitely a flawed robot vacuum. You wouldn't expect it at its very high price point, but after testing it, it's clear that with this robot, you're really paying for automatic mop cleaning and drying, and to a lesser extent, automatic bin emptying. Its other most prominent feature that also pushes up its price, small obstacle detection and avoidance, just doesn't work very well. And this feature, in particular, not working well, drastically reduces the overall value of the X1 Omni package. Does this make the X1 Omni a bad robot vacuum? No, it does have very strong positives and you could learn to live with its negatives. The X1 Omni package as a whole is just extremely overpriced if you're paying full retail price for it. Considering one of its major autonomous features, small obstacle detection and avoidance doesn't work well. So we don't recommend the X1 Omni at full retail price. At a heavy discount, it is still one of only a handful of robot vacuums on the market that automatically cleans and dries its mopping pads. And if these features are important to you, it can still be a viable option. See the description of this video for a link to check this robot's current pricing, as well as a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.